All right, how's everyone doing today? What I wanted to do is put a, um, a little video together of the herbs that I use as an anti-inflammatory for, cause I got stuff from low back pain and stuff like that, so too much working. So anyway, what we got first is the turmeric extract, okay? And um, what turmeric is, it's, it's the best natural anti-inflammatory in the herbal kingdom. It's, curcumin is the active ingredient. It's considered the most active component of the turmeric, okay? And, and next up, we're gonna look at the ashwagandha, all right? Ashwagandha is a natural COX-2 inhibitor, helping to reduce pain and inflammation, okay? You can, all, you can look all this stuff up on Google, you know, Google it, because I'm just going over these things very lightly right now. Boswellia is the natural ability to turn off pro-inflammatory, I think it's called cytokines, yeah. But, um, all right, and the next one we got is uh, cinnamon. Now, cinnamon is a long history, both as a spice and as a medicine. It's anti-clotting, antimicrobial, it's a blood sugar control, and an, an anti-inflammatory as well. And it's in the scent of this, it's, there's been studies that it actually boosts brain function. But what, there's one more uh, herb that I have that I don't have actually, it's ginger. Now ginger is an effective reliever of motion sickness and nausea. Studies, studies show it's also a powerful anti-inflammatory as well. All right, and uh, I ran out of the ginger else, I'd show you that one. The last one I got is white willow bark, okay? Now white, white willow bark is, is great because it contains an ingredient called salicin. It's actually the, the original aspirin. And it was later isolated and synthesized and made into aspirin. Aspirin is well known to cause stomach upsets. Studies have shown the white willow to be as effective as aspirin with lower doses and it actually lasts longer. All right, so that's a quick video of what I use. Now I haven't, I've, haven't taken any of the uh, Advil's or the, um, you know the ad uh, leaves in in like a few years and when i have when i suffer from any uh, kind of inflammation i reach for my herbs and i would suggest you just start really slow L read the back read the backs of the um of the um you know description over here the suggested use and then what i like to do is when i first start a new herb i don't know about I cut the serving size in half just to see how I'll react to it. And then I build up from there. All right, so take care. Enjoy.